Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this vlog is probably gonna be a little bit of an organizing vlog and I'm not sure what else I'm gonna put in here yet. It might be a little shorter than my typical videos. I don't know about that either. If I sound a little odd, it's cause I'm dealing with a cold and I'm kind of congested and my head just feels a little tight. So I'm not sure, like I said, how long the vlog's gonna be just because of kind of how I'm feeling. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna feel like filming. But I have a couple projects I want to do today, so I thought I'd bring you guys along, and maybe it'll just give you a little bit of inspiration. So, first project is this closet, it is my cleaning closet slash coat closet. It's really the only like multi-purpose closet that we have in our entire house or apartment, whatever. Because um, we have closets obviously in our room and stuff, but this is the only other closet that we have besides like my laundry closet slash laundry room area. Um, so this kind of is just a catch-all for different things that would typically go in different closets around your house. So it desperately needs some organizing and I need to go through it and get rid of some things, some cleaning products that I don't use anymore. I like to do that occasionally, especially if there's ones that I got really cheap and didn't care for. They get pushed to the back of the closet and then they never come out. So I'm going to be cleaning and organizing that. And I apologize for all the background noise. I have Kai here with me. Zendaya here with me, so it's a little bit like crazy. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna jump right in and start organizing this closet. I also, I am debating sending some of Zendaya's old clothes to a consignment um, to make a little bit of extra cash off of them instead of just having them sit around. Um, so I might be tagging clothes later today. I'm not sure. So that's the other thing I want to possibly look into and get done. These are really the only two things that I'm putting on my agenda today, especially with kind of like how I'm feeling. I mean, I feel great from my shoulders down, but this area is feeling a little rough. Um, and the kids are kind of getting over being sick or just kind of having colds, which is weird, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, not pushing it too hard today, but I thought for the little bit that I'm going to do, I might as well bring you guys along and I hope you guys enjoy it. So without any more chit chat, let's just get going and jump right into the video. Okay, so here we go as far as the closet. This is kind of what it looks like. I don't have much room to show you guys because I'm in the hallway right now, but up here is cleaning supplies over here, Norwex cleaning rags in here, and other cleaning rags, like older rags in there, and then back there um, is car wash, like rags and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, so that's what's up there. Down here, over here is like work stuff, hats, jackets. I have my mop just leaning up over here. Back here are um, old jackets, like work jackets. And then I have my winter jackets hanging in here. Over here are more cleaning things. So these are like my mop pads and any rags that I have hanging up to dry. Um, and then I have like a, whatever this is called, a little broom and dustpan. And then my mop is here. Um, and I'm probably going to be getting rid of this one because I don't use it anymore. And then an umbrella that I did not have room for on the other side. My Enviro wand and dusting mitt. And then also over here is a little step ladder down here. Um, in the back, we have a shop vac because we don't really have any room to put it anywhere else. Um, sweeper heads. My sweeper normally sits like right in here. And then a couple cleaning things that I don't like Zendaya getting into, like drain cleaner and the toilet brush. And then I know a random bag of potatoes. What is that doing in your closet? Well, I don't have room in my pantry for that bag. So we wanted it in like a cooler, dark place, obviously. So the potatoes keep. So that's why it's sitting in here. So anyways, this is kind of the closet. I'm going to definitely work mostly up here. I'm going to work a little bit down here, but it just kind of needs better organization. It doesn't need much. This up here needs completely organized better. So that's where I'm going to start. And I'm just going to hop in and get going. So I got everything cleaned off the top shelf and before I move on I wanted to share a little something with you guys that I'm gonna be using to clean up here so I had a company reach out to me and uh, want to send me a product to review and share with you guys so um, I'm using this little cordless 
vacuum to clean up here and I was super excited about this because I actually wanted a like mini cordless vacuum I was really excited about this because I've been wanting a mini cordless vacuum for a long time and this one is really cute and super small it's rechargeable you just plug it in in the end here and it's great for your car or to sweep up crumbs lately I've honestly just been keeping it in the house um, if Zendaya like spills goldfish and walks over them or something, it's great to pick up crumbs and that kind of thing. Um, or even if I'm sweeping and don't want to grab my dustpan, honestly, I just turn this on and sweep up my little dirt pile like in the kitchen or whatever. Super great. It also comes with an attachment here. Um, hold on one second. You can take this end off like this. You have So you have this attachment and then you also have this one. Like it all kind of like pieces together. So this goes in the end and then you can kind of make it longer or put the brush on, whatever you prefer. Um, but anyways, I've really been enjoying using this and it definitely is a nice handy little tool to have around the house. So I am going to include the link for this cordless vacuum in the description box. I'm going to include a link in the description box where you can purchase this little um, cordless vacuum for yourself if you've been looking for one. Um, it's really inexpensive and I'm going to put two links. One is for Amazon if you wish to purchase it off of Amazon, but then there's also another link for Shopify. If you purchase this off Shopify, I have a coupon code for you. I believe it's CG 10% off, but I will include it in the description box. That way you guys can use it and get a little bit of a discount if you're wanting a cordless vacuum. So yeah, I want to share that with you guys. I'm going to go ahead and sweep out this up here and then I'm going to sit down and do some organizing as in day unfolds all my rags and yeah, hopefully I can get to that. But I'm going to sit down, organize the bins and then put them back. Okay, so I got my cleaning stuff organized and it's basically these two bins, one of like old, old rags, one of like my nice cleaning rags, and then one bin of like paper towels. I have a couple brushes in here. Um, this one is to like brush off my mop pad when I'm done using it to get all the like grit out of it. Um, I have my concentrate cleaner in here, whoops, as well as like the glass spray bottle I mix it in I also have a cleaning paste and let me tell you guys if you guys have never discovered cleaning paste it's amazing I think there's several companies that make one I use Norwex brand but it's kind of like okay let me read the ingredients hold on oh Zendaya saying hi guys you can sit on my lap you want to sit hi Zendaya <laughs> Okay, so anyways, this is the one I use. I think one of the main ingredients in it is baking soda. It's kind of just like hard um, and you just rub your rag in it. It's great for like showers. I use it to get crayon off the walls, all that kind of stuff. So anyways, I also have like a toothbrush in here when I need like a little brush to like get in little nooks and crannies. Um, I have a couple other like heavier cleaners, but I don't really use them much. I just, there's like two that I like to kind of keep around just in case. 
Um, I also have a box of baking soda because I use that like if our toilet gets really dirty after I put my cleaner in there, I um, will take the baking soda and shake it in there. Anyways, I take the baking soda and shake it in there and it works good. To clean. So um, I don't have much cleaner, but yeah, I have my cleaning stuff organized. So anyways, now that I have that done, I cleaned out this whole caddy thing. And I think I'm going to actually organize Nelson's car cleaning stuff in here because I thought this will be so great when you go to clean the car, you just pick it up and take it outside instead of carrying out like a bunch of different bins and bottles. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna put that stuff. It used to be above our washer, but I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it now. Um, we'll see if I have room in this closet or not. So that's what I'm gonna do and then I have to put everything back in and then I'm about done. Okay guys, so here we go. I'll kind of go over everything. I don't feel like it looks that much different, but I know it's different because I went through everything. So in the very back, back, sorry, back there, um, our car cleaning rags and then over here is just some heavy cleaners and some sweeper attachments as well as my cordless vacuum. And then in this bin is like all the cleaning stuff I use, um, like cleaners wise, and then here is um, like older rags for spills and stuff. And then here are my good cleaning rags. And then I just set my bottle of concentrate cleaner out because this is what I grab when I go to clean anything. That's the bottle I use. So over here, I didn't really go through these jackets because Nelson's not home and I'm not sure what is keep or get rid of. So I might go through those later tonight, but it's pretty much the same, just old work hats and jackets. And same with this, just jackets and my winter coats. And then over here, I still have my cleaning rags. I put my mop over to this side and I got rid of that other mop that was in here that I didn't use anymore. Um, so it's pretty basic. Still have the potatoes down there. They're not going anywhere. But then out front here I have my vacuum. I put my toilet cleaner over here. I put those drain cleaners up above so nobody can get into them. And then over here I had some buckets that were floating around the house because I didn't have a good place to fit them. So now they have a nice place right here. So this is what it looks like all cleaned up. And I also got Nelson's car stuff organized, which was awesome as well. Okay guys, so it's been a little bit, but I'm back. I took a break to run into town with the kids and that just took a lot longer than I expected. And I ate lunch, so now it's like 2.30 and I'm getting ready to sit down and work on tagging some of my consignment items. And so I wasn't sure if I was gonna do this because I wasn't sure if I would actually have enough to make it worthwhile, but I think it definitely will be because I have like two full bins and a couple half bins and then I have some of my stuff too so I'm gonna sit down and kind of work on this that's the next thing I'm working on and then I have to go later tonight to get some groceries I've been doing my grocery shopping by myself when Nelson gets home and can watch the kiddos which is just kind of nice for me so that's what I'm doing at the moment um yeah kind of boring I guess but I'm gonna sit down and get to it and you guys can kind of just hang out with me I guess while I work on this <laughs> So for this consignment, I was picking out the nicest clothes that I was getting rid of because I also take some of my clothes to a consignment store and consign them there. But this one, you price all your own clothes and you have to enter it into their database on the computer and print out labels and all that kind of thing. So I did not show me doing near all the work that I did on this today, but just this little bit, I was going through my clothes, picking out clothes entering them into the computer so it would print out tags for me and yeah just getting started on the process
Okay guys, so hopefully you can hear me un over my really loud air conditioning, but I was gonna go do some other things tonight and bring the camera along, but plans changed, and we are actually going to watch Nelson play softball. I'm not sure how long, let me start over. I'm not sure how long it'll last. Honestly, it might last like 15 minutes and then we're gonna come home, we'll have to see. Um, just with how I'm feeling and how the kids are doing, but I don't really feel like staying at home all night either, so I might as well give it a shot. So that's where we're headed, um, and I'll probably just take a few clips and include it in the vlog. I feel like this day has been the most boring day ever to vlog for you guys. But I guess some days are kind of like this, and right now, with kind of getting over colds and everything, it's just what's going on, so we're not doing too much. But anyways, that's where we're headed, and yeah, I'll show you guys a little bit of what we're doing tonight then. I didn't get as many clips as I wanted to of our evening tonight, but I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you guys so much for coming along with me today and supporting my YouTube channel. I enjoyed sharing the day with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next week in my next video.